Hey guys, welcome back with the Menace Fashion data set. We're going to build a generative adversarial network, and then at the end, we're going to make a GIF out of the output, which is this uh, fashion data set. These are the pictures it generated. Using the generator and the discriminator, we're going to build both. Okay, so download this data set. Okay. Reshape it. You see 28281. That's going to be our input and output shape. I'm going to show you later. And then rescale the images. The buffer size, use this and then use a 256. And you see, import those libraries. We're going to use TensorFlow. Okay, and then here's what I'm talking about. We're making the generator model, right? Okay, so the 256 because of the because of that batch size. And then um, transpose 128, the dense, use this right here. And then here's what I talked about about the output shape, 28, 28, 1. So if you guys go with another data set, you guys are going to have to uh, um, do uh, whatever input and output shape it is. Like for the generator, you're going to, for the output shape, you're going to have to do the same thing. And then we'll get to the discriminator in a second, which is what really what tweaks the pictures. Okay. You guys can feel free to change the noise a little bit if you guys want. And then the C-map equals gray for the effect. Now here's what the discriminator, what I was talking about. The input shape is 2821. We use a convolution 64. You guys can use Relu. You guys don't have to use leaky Relu. Drop out of 30%. Although you guys can change these to 20 if you want. Convolution 128. Padding always equals same, even if we do a regular convolutional neural network. Generative adversarial networks are unsupervised learning. Okay. Now we're going to go to cross entropy. Remember, guys. This is binary, and we're going to use this metric for Atom for the optimizers. And uh, there's your fake output and your real output. Okay? And then the real loss is the real output, and fake is the real output. The fake loss is the fake output. And then the total loss is real loss and fake loss. Okay? Now, epochs 30. You guys can change this to 50 if you want. Don't change the noise dim uh, too much from 100. And then here's where you guys can make a decision how many you want it to generate. Although, change that down there as well if you guys want it. Okay. Now, here's your real output and fake output like I was talking about earlier. Okay, it's the discriminator images for the real, and then the generated images for the fake output. And then your loss, discriminator loss and generator loss, would be fake output, real output, and then the difference between fake output. Okay. Be sure to copy this code, and then you guys can make your own changes like how I mentioned. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to use matplotlib for the generated and saved images. The library we always use in data science. Okay. Now, here we go for the epochs, and then this is where you'd have to change it down there as well. Okay, and then uh, display the images at the epochs. And then here's what I'm talking about, guys. This is your GIF at the end, like I mentioned. Um, these are your steps. Okay, so example, step three, right? This is step 30. You guys can see it progressing in your library from the checkpoints, like I talked about. Now, Epoch 21. Okay, because remember, these are deep fakes. 
And then this is the code we use to make the... You guys can uh, change this, this whatever you want to name the file, but .gif, of course. And then uh, this is the code to make your product a, a GIF. Okay. I hope you guys learned from the video. The next video, we're going to do something fun, and then we're going to do a little data engineering on Google Cloud after that. Then we're going to do something else new. Um, sorry I haven't made videos in a while, guys. I've been pretty busy. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned from this video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you, and stay tuned.